everyone and welcome back to the Wiener Nerdy Booktube channel. I'm Sophia and if my vlog from my vacations goes up first, then you kind of have an idea of what this video is. If not, hey, welcome. First things first, I'm really sorry if the light keeps shifting. I am filming later in the day than I usually do. So that's why, so if I shift a bit here, it gets a little darker. If I shift here, it gets a little lighter. I'm trying to keep in the middle. So sorry for that. But uh, as you may have heard, the Magical Readathon is back. And the Magical Readathon is, as the name says, a readathon created by G over at Book Rose. Check her out, she is completely awesome. And the Magical Readathon used to be associated with the Harry Potter world. So we used to have two instances, one which uh, represented the owls, the other one the newts. But due to controversies and everything, G has a video explaining it. She decided to create her own world. And so we arrive at the Academy of Aurelium. And we are going to have kind of an introduction to the world and everything in September. But we also have a component for a character creation where we have to read books to create our character to enroll in Aurelium. And this is my character creation TBR. Uh, this list is supposed to encapsulate everything between September and April 2022 because that's the time length we have to create our character which I'm totally okay with that. Uh, I'm really 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 pumped. I'm really really excited to actually start reading more in September due to the readathon but that's that's TBR for the readathon. It's a completely separate video from this. This will be the prompt that I chose for my character not all prompts are going to be represented here. Some are, some, are, some aren't, because they aren't in my scope for my character. So, my goal here is to create a half-earthling, half-elf named Althea Amakir. And she started actually as my first ever D&D character. And she will be a princess and she... Her mom was an earthling, her father was an elf, and they were an arranged marriage to unite both kingdoms, and out comes Althea. And she will have an affinity, I'm not so sure if air or water, but one of those. And sh her parents will be mostly elfish. But I'm thinking of giving her maybe some cool bands around the arms, like in white or blue, depends on what I choose her affinity to be. And she, when she finds out that the novice path is actually accepting candidates again, she packs her bags and decides to just go out into the wild. Now, that's like the main idea I have for Althea. So let's get to the prompt. So for, for her background, so if she is a wild a wildling and she has been created in the woods, maybe that's her more elven nature. Or if she is more urban, maybe that's her more diplomatic situation. So if she was more at home with mom and dad or like not mom and dad but like with servants and everything or if she actually went on diplomatic um visitations so she spent a lot of time in the city that's what i'm thinking or if she's a mix of both it can if i can read both um both prompts so for the wild link wild link prompt which will represent her staying at home and being around nature and playing around with her elemental magic we have to read a book that is largely set outside slash in a forest. And for that, I have any book by Juliet Morelier. I have one with me. This is, well, this is in Portuguese, but this is The Air of Seven Waters. And this is book number, I want to say four. 
I want to say four of the Seven Waters trilogy, but nearly all um, books by Juliet Merlier take place in a more medieval-ish, nature-ish vibe. And the Seven Waters trilogy is in a forest called Seven Waters, because it has seven rivers. And this book specifically is largely spent inside the forest. So it's not on a house or anything, it's inside a forest. So any book by Juliet Merillier will do. This is an option. Uh, the one I'm kind of thinking is called Prince of the Forest, which is book number two in this series. I have read number one. So, no, Son of the Forest, I think that's it. And yeah, so that's book number two in this series. But if not, I'll just read this or some others because I have two other books by Juliet Marillier on my shelves. For my urban prompt, which will represent more her diplomatic past, I have the option of going with A Darker Shade of Magic by V. Schwab. And this is a world where there are four Londons, White London, Red London, Grey London, and Black London. And I know ours is Grey London, because there's no magic. And we have Ly Lyra Bard, and she I don't think she has the power to jump between Londons. I think she meets a character that has a power to jump between Londons. And they kind of be become like messengers of the different representatives of the different Londons. My other options for this are Chain of Iron, if I don't get to it, because it's largely spent actually in London as well, in Victorian times. I have The Great Book of the White, which is the Red Scrolls of Magic book number two, which is spent in different cities, mainly New York. Um, I could go with Ready Player Two by Ernest Klein because it's largely spent in Oasis. Oasis is a city, virtual city, but a city. Other than that, I could use Crooked Kingdom for this as it is largely spent in Ketterdam, again, a city. Or, I don't know, even Twilight, we have Forks, but it, that's kind of outdoorsy. I don't know, I could even have like a, a Dan Brown book. So, A Darker Shade of Magic is the choice I put down, but that may not be what reaches the end of this. So, that being said, we need to choose the province where she comes from. So we have Ertheria, and I believe this is more of a elven kingdom so if she was more in an elf an elvish kingdom uh, we have to read a book that features fey or elven characters and for that i have this beautiful baby here house of earth and blood by sarah j maas this is a chunk of a book i haven't read this specific copy yet i have read the book just not this specific copy because i got this after yeah, way after the book came out. I got the book on Kindle when it came out and I read it in three days. And then on my birthday I got this. So this is the hardback version of Crescent City. In this one we have Bryce Quinlan. And she is a half fae. And she used to party all night and then her best friend is killed and she's kind of dragged into an investigation along with an angel called Hunt. I was gonna say Hunter, but it's Hunt Atlar. This is... This has some great scenes. I can remember some more gruesome scenes, some more steamier scenes. But I would say this is new adult, so if you are not comfortable with death, gore, sex, drugs, alcohol, uh, depression, I think it's mentioned here. So if you're kind of um, 
triggered easily by those contents, please check the trigger warnings for this book, because this book has some. And But the story is great, I really really like it. Book number two is coming out February... I think, I can't remember the name of it, but I'm obviously getting it, and I'm obviously getting it in the paper rack, so I have the matching collection, because I really like Sarah J Maas, she is one of my favorite authors. And this will give me the province of Ertheria. Again, if I manage to read both prompts, it means Althea is just kind of jumping around between uh, her more wildling side and her more elven kingdom of Ertheria, or the next one, which is a more fun, fun kingdom where it's, well, the, the motto of this kingdom or of this province is play hard, work a little, as said by G, and that is the province of Carador, and that is to read a book from an ongoing series, and for that, I have chosen not the Bone Season, but the Mime Order, because I do have this one chosen for something else, but it can work between this one and the other one, it just really depends on what I get to first. Uh, this is a book by, well, this is by Samantha Shannon, and Paige Mahoney is a powerful dreamwalker operating in the Seven Dials district of London, and she leads a double life, using her natural a naturalness, illeg illeg illegally while hiding her gift from her father, who works for the Scion regime. So... Basically, there are some people with some powers, they are illegal, and they are hunted down and killed. Paige is a dreamwalker, which means she can walk through the dreams of people. And her father actually works for the people who hunt her. Uh, her father doesn't know what she is, and he doesn't know what she does. Um, she then gets captured and taken into, well prison and the story goes on from there. So we kind of find out what the hell is going on with the Scion regime and these uh, clairvoyant people. Yeah, so these are all clairvoyant, clairvoyance-based powers. Uh, and there's even like, yeah, there we go. There's seals. So there's a binder, a dreamwalker, an oracle, a medium, a whisperer, an unreadable, and an undefined. So that's great. It has like a cute little map here as well. I have read this book. It's really cool. I just haven't continued with the series. Why? I can't remember. Maybe because I didn't have book number two in physical format and I did not read Kindle versions back then. That's why. So going to the most important point of this um, list is heritage. And for heritage, again, as I said, I am trying to make Althea half elf, half earthling, which means I have to complete both these prompts before April 2022. And for her earthling half, I have read a book with elemental magic or an element word in the title. And this one may interchange with House of Earth and Blood. Just depends on my mood or when I get to it. But I'm choosing A Court of Silver Flames by Sarah J Maas. Uh, I'm counting the word flames as representing fire. And this is book number four in the A Court of Thorns and Roses series. So, basically, we are following one of the characters from the A Court of Thorns and Roses series, not the main character, just one of the side characters. Uh, for the A Court of Thorns and Roses series, uh, it's a Beauty and the Beast retelling. It's another chunker. Um... We have Pharaoh, and she is a human girl, and she kills a wolf on a hunting trip. And 
It just so happens that the wolf was not really a wolf, it was a fae that could shapeshift, and in exchange for taking the wolf's life, the fae's life, she is brought into the fae world in order to pay back what she took. That's basically it. Um, it just so happens that the, the world of fae is under the rule of Amarantha, and she is this obnoxious villain. She is very well written. I really like Amarantha as a villain. And she is brought into some trials in order to help save the Fey world. So this just follows one of the characters from the first trilogy. Um, not gonna tell you who because it may be spoilery and I don't want to get into spoiler territory, but I got the physical version on my birthday. Yeah, on my birthday. And I'm really, really excited to get to it. But do you see the size of this? It's almost thicker than my head, which makes me a bit scared. Last but not least, for my elven half, I have read a book with moon or stars on the cover. And I have taken it a little bit further and not twisted it a bit, but you know, just kind of put my spin. I do think that that cover has stars on it, but I can't be sure. So I'm choosing The Darkest Star by Jennifer L. Armentrout. I know this is the first book in a romance fantasy series, which, yes, I love. I have read some. Jennifer L. Armentrout before. I have read the Half-Blood uh, series. There are six books in that series. It is really good for a romance, steamier kind of thing. Oh, by the way, uh, same warnings I, I gave for Crescent City also applied to A Court of Silver Flames. There has some mentions of depression and I'm not so sure if... well. It's Sarah J. Maas, so you can expect steamier sex scenes and some gory scenes, so just beware. I know there's alcoholism and drug use, kind of drug use, and depression. I know those three, so just kind of be aware with that. So I have these six books to read. I can show you my... <clears throat> Preemptive TBR, which is this one. It's kind of big. Uh, I'm still missing here A Darker Shade of Magic and The Darkest Star. So, huge chunker, good for weightlifting, to be quite honest. And I'm really excited to, to get started. Um, I really can't wait. I may just pick up these books after September, because in September I do want to read um, some more but I will talk about that in another video. If you liked it, please leave a like, leave a comment down below saying if you want to participate in the Magical Readathon, what are you picking, what is your character, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!